Charles Henry Turner, African-American zoologist, born February 3rd, 1867, in Cincinnati, Ohio, died February 14th, 1923, in Chicago, Illinois. Charles Henry Turner is an African-American, was an African-American behavioral scientist, an early pioneer in the field of insect behavior. He is best known for his work showing that social insects can modify their behavior as a result of experience. Turner is also well known for his commitment to civil rights and for his attempts to overcome racial barriers in American academia. Turner's birthplace of Cincinnati had established a progressive reputation for African-American opportunity and advancement. In 1886, after his graduation as class valedictorian from Gaines High School, he enrolled in the University of Cincinnati to pursue a Bachelor's of Science degree in biology. Turner graduated in 1891. He remained at the University of Cincinnati and earned his Master's of Science degree also in biology the following year. In 1887, he married Leontine Troy. Despite having an advanced degree in more than 20 publications to his credit, Turner found it difficult to find employment at a major U.S. university, possibly as a result of racism or his preference to work with young African-American students. He held teaching positions at various schools, including Clark College, now Clark Atlanta University, a historically black college in Atlanta from 1893 to 1905. He returned to school to earn a PhD in zoology in 1907 from the University of Chicago. After Leontine died in 1895, Turner married Lillian Porter. In 1908, Turner finally settled in St. Louis, Missouri as a science teacher at Sumner High School. He remained there until his retirement in 1922. During his 33-year career, Turner published more than 70 papers, many of them written while he confronted numerous challenges, including restrictions on his access to laboratories and research libraries and restrictions on his time due to a heavy teaching load at Sumner. Furthermore, Turner received meager pay and was not given the opportunity to train research students at either the undergraduate or the graduate level. Despite these challenges, he published several morphological studies of vertebrates and invertebrates. Turner also designed apparatuses such as mazes for ants and cockroaches and colored discs and boxes for testing the, vis the visual abilities of honeybees. Conducted naturalistic observations and performed experiments on insect navigation death feigning, and basic problems in invertebrate learning. Turner may have been the first to investigate the Pavlovian conditioning in an invertebrate. In addition, he developed novel procedures to study pattern and color recognition in honeybees. And he discovered that cockroaches train to avoid a dark chamber in one apparatus retain the behavior when transferred to a differently shaped apparatus. At the time, the study of insect behavior was dominated by 19th century concepts of taxis and kinesis, in which social insects are seen to alter their behavior in specific responses to specific stimuli. Through his observations, Turner was able to establish that insects can modify their behavior as a result of experience. Turner was one of the first behavioral scientists to pay close attention to the use of controls and variables in experiments. In particular, he was aware of the importance of variables called training variables, which influence performance. One such example of a training variable is the, quote, intertrial, intertrial interval, unquote, which is the time that occurs between learning experiences. Reviews by Turner on invertebrate behavior appeared in such important publications as Psychological Bulletin and the Journal of Animal Behavior. 
In 1910, Turner was elected a member of the Academy of Sciences of St. Louis. The French naturalist Victor Cornets, later named the circling movements of ants returning to their nests, Turner, Turner circling, a phenomenon based on one of Turner's previous discoveries. Turner maintained a lifelong commitment to civil rights, first publishing on this issue in 1897. As a leader of the civil rights movement in St. Louis, he passionately argued that only through education can the behavior of both black and white races be changed. He suggested that racism could be studied within the framework of comparative psychology, and his animal research uh, in intimated and his animal research intimated the existence of two forms of racism. One form is based on an unconditioned response to the unfamiliar, whereas the other is based on principles of learning such as imitation. Citations are in the description.